Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you a quick eyebrow tutorial. I'll be using MG Naturals Brow Styler and I'll be using this double sided um, brush here. One as an angled brush and the other as a spoolie. So how I get the product out is I dip it in, tap off any excess and then dip the rest into the lid and I'll only use then the lid for the product. I find this just helps it not go everywhere. So how I do my brows is I sort of shape the bottom of the brow first. I do little strokes to mimic the hairs and I'm not trying to create a totally different shape I'm just trying to sort of add volume to my natural brows. So when I'm not filling my brows and I'm just dipping the, pro the brush back into the product so what I'm doing is little strokes here I'm wanting to mimic my hair so I'm trying to keep my brows as natural as possible and now I'm just using the spoolie side of the brush to brush in my hairs into that powder and making it as natural as we can. It just sort of blends out the product as well and, and doesn't create any harsh lines. So I don't extend my tail out too much, I just finish where my natural ha hairs are. And now I'm working on the top of my tail up to where my arch is. And I'm just following my natural arch as well, I'm not trying to create anything different. And I'm following the natural hair growth as well, blending it downwards. So keeping with the little strokes as well. And blending it further in and down. And using the brush as well. I find a brush quite often. And now I'm wanting just to sort of blend in the inner part here. I don't create any, create any little lines. I sort of just blend in my natural brows. And I twist this vertically as well and sort of do little um, flicks towards the inner part. I'm wanting to keep that sort of um, section as natural as possible, so just blending the product so there's no harsh lines. And as you can see, I blend it towards the tail as well. And always brushing, so I'm brushing my natural hairs up. I flick them up as much as I can, and then where they sort of stick out, I just flick them back in to the rest of them. And there's that brow done. So I don't do anything fancy as my everyday brows. So always brush the brows first. So you'll see here I'm sort of adding a bit more of a shape to this to try and mimic my other brow. They're very different and I actually don't touch my eyebrow shapes. I only wax the middle of them. I'm very lucky. So you'll see I'll brush these up and you'll be able to see where I have stenciled out the brow. And I haven't changed the shape of them too much, I'm just creating them as even as I can. The whole rule is your brows are sisters, not twins. So I'm doing the same little flicking motions as before, sort of feathering it out and mimicking my hairs. And all I'm doing now is I'm brushing in my the centre of the brow to blend out the product and fill in any gaps that might be there. And that's why you sort of brush it in different directions as well because you want to see sort of where there is any gap so you can fill them in. I'm still working on the tail here. I'm doing the same as the other side. I'm just mimicking where the hair growth is and I'm just blending out the product. Blending it towards the inner part as well. Just reconnecting all of them. You just don't want to leave any precise lines and just little feather motions as well. So do that same step, I put my brush vertically now and work on the inner part, blending it towards the middle and the tail, brushing once more in all different directions just to make sure we've got them all. And there you have it, there's my brow routine, there's really nothing special that I do. I just create a lovely natural finish, but it's amazing what brows can do. Thank you so much for watching.